Now in this part then we've got to find A and D. We've, in fact we've got to show that A is minus 17.5. So how do we do it? Well what we've got is our two equations and it's going to be simultaneous equations. So in the usual way number your equations so we call them 1 and 2 and I notice that the A's here are exactly the same so I can eliminate the A's by just simply subtracting the two equations. So I'm just going to do equation 2 take away equation 1. What does 2 take away 1 give us? Well we've got the A take away A that's going to get eliminated and then 20D take away plus 17D is going to leave me with 3D so we've got 3D equals and 32 and a half take away 25 leaves me with seven and a half and I can I don't like the seven and a half so what I'm going to do is double both sides times both sides by two so therefore I get 6d equals double seven and a half and we've got 15 and so therefore divide both sides by six and you get d equals 15 over six and this will reduce down to let me think well we could divide top and bottom here by 3 so if we did that 3's into 6 goes 2 3's into 15 goes 5 so we've got 5 over 2 for D 5 over 2 or 2 and a half alright so that gives us D we still yet to show that A is minus 17 and a half and we can do that then by just simply substituting d equals two and a half back into any one of these equations. Well, I'm going to pick number one because that just looks a lot easier. So I'm going to say sub d equals two and a half into equation one. So what do we therefore have? We have a plus 17 times d, d being two and a half equals 25. We have A, so what is 17 times 2 and a half? 42 and a half, so we'll put that in there plus 42 and a half and that equals 25. So just take 42 and a half away from both sides, so A equals 25 take away 42 and a half and that is minus 17 and a half or minus 17.5. Okay, so we have our answer for D and we have our answer for A. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of that part of the question.